Hello and welcome to HNS Academy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fix the problem of a key automatically pressing on your keyboard. Now, this could happen with any kind of keyboard. It could be a laptop keyboard or any external keyboard as well. Recently, I've seen a lot of queries uh, regarding a similar problem with the higher Y11C model which had been given as part of the PM laptop scheme as well. So this video is going to be very helpful for those guys who have a similar problem. But that being said, let's get started. First thing you need to do is to go to uh, a browser and search a software called Key Tweak. So you need to type in Key Tweak and then search it just open up the first link you get over here and here it gives you the option to download so just click on the download and follow the instructions and you'll be able to download the software I've already done this step so let's go back to our computer here in the search once you've installed the software you can type in key tweak and an app would appear on top click on that here we have the main screen of the key tweak software so as you can see I had a similar problem where my backspace key was um, continuously pressed while I was using the laptop so what I've done here is as you can see on the top I've already disabled the backspace key but uh, let's say that you have a different key for example you have problem with the delete key or uh, what happened uh, with the old key as well so let's say you have a problem with the delete key on a normal um, keyboard delete key would be this one so in order to disable for example you have problem of delete key uh, in order to disable the delete key you need to click on this key here and as you can see usually the delete key is here here it tells you that this selected key is currently mapped to the delete function so now what we need to do is if you want to disable this key here you have the option to disable the key click on the disable key option and here you can see it has been remapped to disable and then you need to click on the apply option so click on apply and here it tells you that you're applying to put your computer in a uh, different configuration so you need to uh, you want to uh, remap it so you just need to click ok uh, over here there you go and then after that it would tell you would you like to restart your computer ideally you would want to restart your computer for the changes to take effect but now I'm just going to click no because I don't want to I've already disabled the key which I want so I'm just going to click no for now but you can click on yes and then uh, it will apply the changes um, for you okay so here we have um, disabled the key which is this key and we have disabled this one okay now once you've disabled the key okay and what you want to do is if this key is something which is very useful for you and you still want to use it what you can do is you can use a different key and you can remap this key to a different key which is working perfectly fine on your computer and you can remap it to that key and you can use that key uh, for the same function for example if you want to delete something or you want to delete uh, use the delete key but um, your delete key is disabled now because it was continuously pressing however you can perform the same function with a different key by remapping this to another key now if you want to remap this key which is uh, currently selected which is the delete key go to the choose new remapping option let's say here we want to uh, change this to let's say scroll log option here okay and then you need to click on remap key as you can see this key has now been remapped to scroll lock key and then you can click on the apply option there you go and then you can click yes 
and you don't need to reach the other computer for now okay so here we have applied the changes so once you've done this this is all you need to do now this second step is an optional thing which you can use if you really want to use this key uh, for some purpose if it is some kind of an obsolete key which you don't really want to use then you don't have to remap it to a different key and you can just simply disable that key and then you can get rid of that uh, auto pressing problem and that way your problem will be solved you don't need to take your laptop or keyboard to um, somebody to fix it for you you can simply use this trick uh, to disable that particular key and then you can use it um, just like a normal keyboard i hope this video has been helpful for you if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe our channel so you can stay tuned to any upcoming videos that's all for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.